Welcome to our YouTube channel, my favorite ideas. We are going to make a C++ project in the topic number guessing game. So let's see the requirements of this code. We require an IDE for running and compiling the source code. For a text editor, you may use any text editor as per your choice. For the recommended ones, are code blocks or base code. For you, require an operating system. Again, you may use any operating system as per your choice. But the recommended ones are Windows and operating system or any other latest version. Now we'll be moving towards the code part. I'll show you how this code basically looks like, what are its functionalities, how can we demonstrate the code, and the, how does the output of the code basically looks like. Okay. There is our code. We have included all the header files first, like the IO stream, string, current library, and time. Then we have the basic line that is using namespace history. Then a function named void points. Then in the main function, we have certain attributes. Data types like string clear, int amount, int amount of bit, int left, int dice, and chart character options. Then there is a function again called srand, which is, takes a parameter as time of zero. Then it prints the line, guess a number, and earn the money. Then we need to enter the name of the player and the initial amount of the deposit. Then a do while loop runs, which basically first clears the screen, then it shows welcome. The name of the player, are you ready to play? And you have to enter the bid amount. After which, the bid amount cannot exceed the current amount, like the current deposit that you have that should be more than the bid amount. Otherwise, you can't bid that particular amount. If that will be more, then you have to re enter the bid amount. It will show you again that you are supposed to guess a number from 1 to 10. And if you guess the number correctly, you will be winning. This is basically random because here you can see we have used a random function. We have used mod 10 because we need to get the remainder value and the remainder can only be from 0 to 9. Then the winning number, that will show you that the winning number is this and the remaining amount is how much bidding amount you have paid. For that amount will be deducted from your current account. And if there will be no money left from the in your current account, it shows no money left in the current account. Do you want to play the game again? Yes or no? And you go play this game and your current amount will be this. So and this is basically the points table. In the points table you are going to show the rules. It is going to show the rules for the game. First you have to enter any number from 1 to 10. Bidding amount will be 10 into the bidding amount. And lose amount will be amount minus the bid amount. You are free to leave this game any time you want. Now let me run this code and I'll show you how does it work. Okay. See, I'll delete and click on the console and we'll begin the new page. Yes, enter the name of the player. Well, initial amount is 100. So it's asking me that what will be my bid amount. Say my bidding amount will be 50. Then I'll guess the number 5. The number is 7. I'll continue again. Uh, okay, my bid amount will be say 20. Uh, 8. See, the bidding number was 8 and I also typed 8 so I want 200. So the remaining amount will be 250 now. Got it? No, I will not continue anymore. So, I hope you understood the working of this code. For more interesting project ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thank you and have a great day.